Apple is currently working on iOS 17.2 and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at all the new changes and features coming to Apple Music in iOS 17.2. In the previous update in iOS 17.1, Apple introduced the new option of favoriting music right within Apple Music. And if you guys want to take a look at that, I do have a video on that, so make sure to check out that link in the description below. But in iOS 17.2, Apple is bringing some new features to favoriting songs, the biggest one being the automatic playlist. Now, I believe this is going to be a smart playlist because whenever you favorite a music, it's going to be automatically added into this playlist called favorite songs. So if you ever want to find out what of your favorite songs are, it's going to be automatically added added into this one playlist and you can just go into that one playlist to listen to all of your favorite music. Next, we finally have collaborative playlists coming to Apple Music in iOS 17.2. Apple announced this feature way back in June at WWDC when they were announcing iOS 17 and it's finally coming to Apple Music in iOS 17.2. With collaborative playlists, you finally have the option of creating a playlist and adding your friends into the playlist so anyone that's involved in the playlist has the ability to add and remove music in the playlist as well as rearranging music and even reacting to songs with emojis. I believe this feature is available already on Spotify but it's finally coming to Apple Music so if you're on Apple Music you're finally going to have that option with iOS 17.2. And finally Apple is introducing a new way to pause your listening history in Apple Music in iOS 17.2 with a new focus filter. To enable this you want to go into the settings application, you want to go into the focus tab and select any of the focus focus modes that you have. I currently have one called music focus and if I scroll all the way down I can go into add a filter and in iOS 17.2 you're going to get this new music filter which simply has the option of turning on listening history or turning off listening history. When your listening history is turned off that means Apple Music will not be recommending music on whatever you're playing at the moment. It's not going to have whatever you played in your recently played on your Apple Music page as well. It just stops keeping track of what you're playing on your Apple Music. I could see this being useful in different kind of scenarios. If you have kids, you might have a kids focus mode and with this filter added, whatever music that they're listening to, you won't be re getting recommended to that. So that makes it a plus. Also, if I'm at work, I am also connected to the speakers at work and I can have this filter enabled. So whatever kind of music I'm listening to at work, Apple Music doesn't recommend that same music to me because that's not maybe the music that I'm listening to in my regular day to day. But it's nice to have the option of adding this focus filter mode to any of your focus modes that you have. So it is a nice little feature coming in iOS 17.2 to Apple Music. And there you have it. That's everything new coming to Apple Music in iOS 17.2. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so when Apple does drop iOS 17.2, I'll have a video on all the best new features coming to iOS 17.2. So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.